Hi friends, welcome to 30 Inks, 30 Days, day seven. Um, let's start off, I don't have my glasses. Uh, I, this is the third time starting this, it's gonna be great. So first step we look at yesterday, Yodo. That's gorgeous, it's a bit more green in person and not as dark. Lighting in here is trash. Um, our week so far. We had a Amanda thing going until the last two days. Sorry, I've let you down, Amanda. They're all a little scratchy at parts because of how I put the ink down. And I don't care. Do I? I kind of care, but not enough to change it. Okay. Um, but yesterday is over. Moving on. By the way, it bled through. Um, a little hole it made when the syringe was there. Oops. Um, so I keep pulling this table towards me, and then, but then my drink for the day, I'm afraid, it's very full. Anyway. Today's ink related to the last two is Colorverse Humpback Whale. I had a really clever thing for today that I was going to say the cocktail for today was shrimp cocktail, but like I didn't make it because laziness essentially. And so perfect is the enemy of done. So this morning. I decided let's not be perfect, let's be done. So I'm putting it in my um, Blue Diamond Cast Franklin Christoph model 46 with some kind of nib that I don't remember and I don't have my glasses on. It's that size nib. Is it focusing? Why won't you focus? You should be able to see camera even if I can't. Am I too close? There, it's that nib. Is it a B? You're a B, Maria. Anyway, and the drink for today is tea. Earl Grey, hot, with some milk and some sugar. Mm-hmm. Somehow it's related to whales, I'm sure. Oh, because there were whales in that one movie that wasn't with that one guy who drank the Earl Grey tea, but they, they're, from, they're besties, pretty much. I realize I don't have my glasses but handy, but I do have my loop, so I should be able to look at that and tell you what size nib it is. Although you already know. It's a B. Just like, it's so on there. Um, okay. Is this dust? Oh, it's dusty already. No, um, okay. Um, the mat, not anything else. I like for me that I basically am, everything's blurry. I've been thinking that what I should do is like not wear my reading glasses as much so that my eyes and my brain get back to work and stop goofing off. Because quite frankly, I'm tired of their laziness. You know, they used to be able to see, and I think if they just tried a little bit harder, they'd be able to see again, you know? Who's with me on this? Uh, my mom actually just had cataract surgery in one eye, and now she doesn't need reading glasses in that eye. And I'm like, well, that's pretty cool. So, I still don't want that to happen to me, though. It's like, why would you? Oh, wait. This one goes to the side. We always think we're starting there, don't we, Maria? But we're not. We're starting here. GG. Okay. And this pen will not fit in there. Oh, we made it fit. I'll be honest, I didn't mean to make it fit. It just kind of went. I was... <laughs> Wish me luck, friends. This is a sketch start to the day. Especially with the lack of glasses, but you know what? Everything's pretty with when it when 
you know. Like, I look better without my glasses on. You might look in the mirror. I think I bent this or something. Oh, look at you. You're lovely. I still like you. Should have tried to find my Daniel Smith, huh? But I didn't. And here we are. I was looking up so many drinks yesterday and I was like one ingredient away from making so many different drinks and I was really bummed out about that. Almost made a Don the Beachcomber. Was that it? No, it was just called the Beachcomber. But um, I don't remember why I didn't. Oh, because it, it was going to need slightly more lime than I thought I had. And so then I was like, well, I could just... You know, you only put as much lime, and then it's like, yeah, but then you're not making the drink, and anyway. So this is Colorverse Humpback Whale. We won't talk too much about whatever that letter is in the middle there. The pen is. Franklin, Christoph, Model 46, Broad Nib. We didn't do that thing. And the drink is Earl Grey Tea. It's not really a special drink. This is what I have every morning. But a lot of these drinks weren't special. Or, like, especially notable for me. Okay, setting aside. Now you can come back over here. Okay. 30 inks. 30 days. We're gonna write no glasses. Um, April 2024, day seven, ink. Hum, there, we fixed it. I think that's what's gonna keep happening to me. Humpback is like, your brain goes too fast and it's like, wait, B? P, they start the same. Oh no! Um, pin, Franklin, Christoph, Model 46, Broad. Drink, Earl Grey Tea. I put a period there. <laughs> that's it that's the end. that's the final word <laughs> you coming over here with your fancy teas I've actually been drinking Earl Grey since I was a child not that my parents are like Sure, honey, have all the tea you want. But, you know, once in a while as a treat, I'd get to have a cup of... And I would put seven sugars in it. <laughs> <laughs> I take it with less sugar now than then. In fact, I put... Sometimes I can put what... It's like, oh, I put too much sugar. That concept didn't even used to exist for me. Okay, wait, we put this underneath for more than one reason, Maria. Okay. We have, like, you guys, you, sorry, y'all can't see Maria. I'm, like, blocking off that thing. Okay. Splatting. Should we try and make it look like a whale? That's not happening. We had premature splat. Because we were thinking about whales.
it's fine. Good. It looks just like a humpback whale. I think there was something to do with them and then the Bay Area at some point. And I kind of can't remember now. If you remember, feel free to tell us all. Um, maybe there was one that got into the bay and then it was like stuck there because like the tide went out or something and it was real silty and I don't know, it would have been a million years ago. And by a million, I mean, I don't know, 20, 30, something like that. This may be our longest entry. Day seven. Oh, I didn't write the ink first. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. I did, for a change, write humpback more or less correctly, so that's fine. Earl Grey tea. How do you make a cup of? Okay, first off, let's do this so it can dry and we can watch it drying while I extol the virtues of a proper cup of. Let's just say I've known some people from the UK who did not make a proper cuppa and I was like dismayed. They squeezed, okay, first off they used a tea bag, second off they squeezed the tea bag. People like to say Americans don't know how to make a cup of tea, but I am not that person. Okay, Earl Grey tea. So, have I been writing one and two and three? No. Plus, it doesn't matter. You can make it up every day, Maria. Okay. Um, in. Brewing. Filter. Basket. Put the loose leaf tea in the brewing filter basket, or if you're making a whole pot, it also has one, okay? Add boiling water to pot slash mug. I have a little basket that fits in my mug. So I make it in the mug, which is, you yeah. know. I'm gonna put this put in pot. Okay, because you know, anyway, okay, right? Let steep three to five minutes at midway point turn basket three times Widdershins. You gotta say Wittershins because it's a word that exists. It's awesome. This is optional, okay? Optional. Remove Um Filter basket. I would discard the leaves. They're dead. They've given their all for kingdom and country. <laughs> for a good cuppa. Discard leaves. 
they are pining for the fjords. Enjoy tea. There you go. Proper cuppa, okay? You make it any other way. I don't know what it, you're drinking, but it's not a cup of tea. Also, if it's not made with tea leaves, it's not tea. It's a tisan or some other thing, but it ain't tea. It's in the name tea. It comes from tea leaves. <clears throat> I have opinions. Have you noticed? I might have some opinions. Okay. You can do whatever you want. I might joke about these opinions, but y'all, it's tea. It's fine. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. My light fell over or something. Yeah. Stop it, light. Sorry if y'all went for a little ride there. I don't, I don't know why. Oh, because I moved this. It's fine. I'm back. We ran out of space there, so it more or less says hump back. I'll know what it says, and that's kind of what matters. You got if y'all can't read it, whatever, you know. If I can't read it, it's slightly more of a problem. But also I could turn back to the other page and see what it said there. Unless one day I'm like, you know what? This takes up too much space. What if I just ripped out these pages? Oh my gosh, that I would die. That would be so wrong. It wouldn't be wrong if that's what I wanted to do, Maria. It's allowed. We got a first week done and it was a full week. I love that. I know man has commented about it once before, loving it when it starts on a Monday. So, um... Haven't seen any of her videos yet for reasons. Um, Amanda, if you're doing this, I, I hope you're also delighted. I think you probably will be. But here we are with day seven. A whale of a day. <laughs> with a humpback whale. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. <gasps> okay, I don't know what that was. Come over here. Do you look better this way? Yeah, sure you do. You were like sassing me up there. <laughs> I hope whenever you, you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.